<laughs> Getting some hot topics here. Now, the Golden Globes took place Ooh. last night virtually with hosts in New York and LA, but a lot of the stars took to social media to protest once again the lack of Black voting members for the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Now, the HFPA has 87 members, 87 members, and not near one of them are Black. So over the weekend, showrunner Shonda Rhimes posted a Golden Globe picture with a caption that read, enough is enough, hashtag times up Globes. And actress Kerry Washington tweeted the message, a cosmetic fix isn't enough. No more of the surface nonsense. Now, the Hollywood For uh, Foreign Press Association recently mentioned that they are now committed to bringing in members after being called out. Do you think these members, uh, you think adding new members will, or will fix the problem? And why is it still this way? They didn't even think about that. And I, I'm so shocked and surprised because of the tone in which we are in today right now that everybody's being called out like nobody is 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 letting their collar down you know what i mean and so mm -hmm. they take this chance on having such a big stance in hollywood with having the awards and they don't have any black people it's like did you think that we were going to miss that you know what i mean because our stories are being shown so weren't our people being able to have the power to have the voice for us then? Why would you leave them out? Because it's obvious and it's known that we don't all watch TV the same. Our interest is not the same. So you're going to look at it with a different eye if you're white because you don't you don't relate to, you know, the south side of Chicago, you know, bringing up. You know what I mean? So you're going to look at that different like oh god that's not my story so I can't relate so next you know what I mean therefore you've passed over something that is uh great and, and amazing you know so I, I'm just I'm shocked but I'm so glad that our A-listers and everybody else get on board and say hey no 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 we know this we see we're taking heed to what you're not doing and now that you're getting called out then you want to go oh oh yeah we forgot so now next year we're gonna put some on it. it's like it's almost like too late, but we need to still take it because we still need our voice to be heard. So it, it's change because we on top of their necks. At this point, it feels like it's it's not even, they can't even try to say that they forgot. At this point in 2021, it's goddamn deliberate. It is. It, we're too present. We're too in y'all's faces. We are everywhere. And when they talk about the black dollar and buying power and how much money black folks spend going to movies and, and, and TV shows and how much we support, like, it, do y'all, do they get in a room, 87 people or 87 members be like, wow, not every single person here is white. You know what I mean? Like, it is it's such a slap in the face. And then they'll say sorry and they'll put a couple members and they'll do it again. I feel like we've had this conversation every few years when it comes yes. to these award shows. And right. Claudia, I was just going to say that with the church finger over here, um, that it's been that way for such a long time that they just don't think there's anything wrong with it. You have to realize with some organizations, it is hard for change for them. It's hard for them to evolve and be inclusive because it's just the way it's been for a long time, unfortunately. The beautiful thing is that now we're paying more attention to it. Other members that are more prominent, getting more power, walking in here and that there's only 87 people there and all 87 are white are saying, hey, this isn't fair and speaking out. And to me, it happens to be a lot of women that are calling it out like, hey, we need equal pay. We need equal this. Like we're just in the workforce a lot more than what we ever were. And we're bringing more attention to things that are unfair and change is needed. So I'm glad that they called them out on that. It, it, and it's even more frustrating because and I, and I got to call it our own. Uh, and I don't mean black people, I mean liberals. You know, okay. Hollywood is so known for being so liberal and so inclusive, but are we really? Because y'all supposed to be more liberal and we look, we, we, we demonize and we talk about the Republicans and, and, and the right, right? About how they're not inclusive. But Hollywood is known for being extremely liberal, extremely vocal during elections and very pro us and inclusion. But then the very governing bodies and, and the bodies, the organizations that pick who is is, you know, is that chick and that guy is not even inclusive. So we're really, they're full of shit. They're full mm. of shit, I think. Well, I, like I said, I just glad that, you know, uh, uh, Sterling, uh, what's his name from the, the show? He walked out and he's like, it's it's good to be black or, or something at the Golden Globes. Like people, are, they was bold with it. They yeah. put it, you know, right in everyone's face. So I think that's a start. 
you know, you know what? what I, appreciate- I think when when I hear that so boldly like that, I think I only like it because I'm black. Because what if they went in a room and said, "Wow, look, it's so many." white people here. I'm so glad to see us white folks here. Like if they said that, I would be taken aback on that comment. So it, it, it almost makes me feel like when we say that and be that bold, it's so in your face till it's a division too. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I feel you, that, like, you know? but, they're, but they're the ones in power, not us. So definitely. Yep. Unfortunately. We know that. But it's, it's nothing thing. there. Yeah, I mean, you understand what I'm saying? It's almost like if they come in, it's like, I'm glad to see some Latinos in here. You know, I thought I was the only one. It's like, it's that bada bing, bada bam. But I, I just think for us, though, that this brown people stand for Spanish. It stands for all minorities, to be very honest with you. Um, I, I don't you can go to our events and you're going to see all nationalities. There. It may be majority black. But you still will see other nationalities that are represented in some form of either music, the dancing, because we've always had to include. It's just hard for them to include us, you guys. It's a old way of doing things that how long has the foreign market or that thing been there? They've been there for many years, if we can find out. But I guarantee you since the beginning to up to now, then 2021, that we're calling them out, it's been 87 members that were probably all white. Have they had any other nationalities besides white? And I'm talking Asian, Spanish, you know, not just black. They should include everyone. There just and, needs and, to be fair representation. And black people. black organizations seem to go out of their way. Like even the BET Awards, and we have those award shows. When a, when a white soul singer comes along, like Ooh. a Robin Thicke or a Justin yes. Timberlake, we embrace them and yeah. celebrate them and even carve out a space to give them an award, Absolutely. let them perform on our stages. Even yeah. our, how, our, even our uh, reality TV shows, Atlanta Housewives, the Real Housewives of Atlanta was the one that had a white woman with a black cast, right? You didn't see New York, New Jersey, Orange County, none of them breaking their necks up to include, be inclusive of, of, you know, getting a black woman on their shows. It's just across the board. Like, it seems like we go out of our way as a people and we're more inclusive. And we are the ones that should have more to like protect, not them. I don't know. It's, so it's that's crazy. because they feel like they don't need us that we need them. So right. that's why we're pointing the finger saying, hey, let us in, let us in. And they're like, hmm. If you were supposed to have been here, you would have been here. That's what I feel like they're saying. You know, we mm-hmm. don't need you guys, you know. And then it's like, oh, that, I was almost about to say the word. I was about to say the N word, but that was <laughs> Don't do that it. Don't do it. Don't it's, get us in trouble. Okay. We can let him in. Because you know how they always have a, 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 a beauty of the week or one of us of the year. You know what I mean? It's like they're, they'll give us an award and that person is going to get the awards throughout the whole thing because they chose one. One token one. It's well, a mess. I, you know what I think too, like, and just listening to you guys talk, like black people were never taught to be um, prejudiced, segregated. Oh, true. Okay. I mean, integrated. We were never taught to be integrated. You see what I'm saying? We actually fought for segregate for segregation. You see what I'm saying? We fought to be, oh, oh well, it, it segregation. Another the way around. There you go. We yeah. fought. We fought to be included, right? We we never. We don't understand. We were never taught in history to be separate and in and, and enclosed and, and and you know what I'm saying, inclusive to ourselves. Mm-hmm. So of course, you know, it, it's not that it's not that we're trying to accept people. We were never taught not to accept people. Yeah. But they were. So I think that at this point. It's just natural. It's their natural way of rotating. However, the question is, when does that natural and what what needs to happen in Hollywood and in all other platforms for that natural way of rotation to not be systemic anymore? What needs to happen? I mean, you've seen you've seen George Floyd. You've seen everything that happened in 2020. You've seen division. You've seen you've seen everything. You've seen barriers breaking. So what's it going to take is the question. I mean, you guys are in Hollywood. What do you think needs to happen for, you know what I'm saying, for this to stop? Like, because the same thing when the exposure. NFL. Exposure. More, I mean, more, it's, it's, it's us possible. bringing it to everyone's attention. More, you know? more guilty. And then us starting to, like, they invited more members into the Screen Actors Guild. Uh, uh, remember when we got the sister that, turned, that was now president of Screen Actors Guild? She invited 300. I got my invitation. 
So thank you. Appreciate that lookout. But it's going to, you have to expose it. Okay, let me, let, me, let me play devil's advocate like I we, always we, do. We, get, we, might, we might have to finish this after the, the break. We have to after take a break, quick break. Oh, dang. Okay. I know. We, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with more Cocktails with Queens. It's a great conversation when we return. Yeah. Yes. Welcome back to Cocktails with Queens, having great conversations about the uh, the state of affairs when it comes to the entertainment business. And once again, I'm going to say it again, you know, you, you, you liberal powerhouses in Hollywood that want to jump on the bandwagon when there's a black death and in March and Black Lives Matter and you want to post the black squares. That's cool. But use your power and things that matter when black folks get their, need to get their accolades because that's going to lead them to bigger paychecks and long, bigger, like greater longevity, I think. And, and we should get those same. Uh, awards and recognition. So you know, use your like voice. Like Taraji said, she got forty thousand dollars for doing um, what is it, Benjamin? Ben Buzz. Benjamin, Benjamin, yeah, forty thousand wow. dollars. But what they gonna say is, well, it gave you an Oscar nod and that helped you. So we we helped you. That's what they are gonna say. But you know what? Agreed, they agreed, agreed. And and, and you know, it, it, it's that that balance that when you do a role that then will propel your career. That if at the time you don't have a big enough name and if the production can get you for that, you know, being one now that's starting to produce movies and do stuff like that, it, it, you know, there's a budget. So there's certain things. So if she takes the role, then, you know, that's part of the deal. But then if it leads to six years on Empires, an Oscar nomination, an Oscar win, you know, you, you know, it's apples and oranges to me. Mm -hmm. But when is it that when, when does it come a time where black women and black men in Hollywood could start there when you know and, I, and I'm with you Vivica I feel like sometimes you have to take things because it's about you know in on God's clock this will lead to that so you right. can never leave money on the table and I, I, I totally am with you on that but I'm, I'm kind of tired of us always having to, well, let me do this so I can do that, you know, so I can get ahead to do this. Why do black people have to do that? Like we're immigrants, you know, like we have to come here and adapt to the culture when we were already here. You know what I'm saying? Like we're just as much Americans as, as white people. And it's almost like we're treated like we're immigrants. Like we have to work our way up. Why do we always got to work our way up to some shit? Why is are you always... saying why are we taught that old lesson of, well, you know, because you're black, you're always going to have to work twice as hard. You know, yeah. I'm sick of that. And, yeah. and it, seems like a, it seems like studios will take a chance on a white unknown, unknown actor to be in some big budget picture where a black person got to be 20 years in the game, be, be uh, you know, you already qualified and you're, 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 you're guaranteed to make money overseas. Like they, so many hurdles for a black person, but it seemed like they will take a chance on a white person in a minute. I, all these white magazines white too. White magazines do the same thing. They don't, you know, we buy Bazaar and, 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 and whatever other magazines and Vogue and stuff. We don't care who's really on the cover. We see somebody in this life. That you like. Vogue magazine. But let Essence, and I do meet Essence, and let Ebony get ready. Yes, I do. I want to acknowledge that they will put the same people on the cover over and over again. And we like, she didn't have 13 covers. Right. They do not, so will great. not, and won't, and have not put anybody black that's up and coming to say, see this sister here. She's an up and coming. She got to already be there and already and she in the interview is about what she's done. It's like the it's, new person, she got a lot more to say. So why don't you give her- It'd be the same five people, people doing that's everything. That's so many facts. That's, yeah. Well, we, that's we, facts upon that's facts that. right there. And that's, that's all black so public. damn well it is. Yeah. The same, if you once you get in that top five, you win everything and then no one else really eats and, and then and, it's the same five eat for the I mean, and it. acting too, and you know, like, do y'all see that in, in mm -hmm. acting? Do y'all see that in, you know, in Hollywood, yeah. like the top well, five black actresses or do they, do they try? Well, do you feel like? Back in the day, I'm going to say when I first started acting, it was only like one at a time. Like, you know, mm -hmm. one, she was doing, you know, everything. everything. And, but now, you know, thank God we've got, now we have five. Five. Again, I hate to say it, sisters, <laughs> it, we got a little bit more than five, but we have. Shondaland, we have OWN, we have BET, yeah. we've got TV One, Black but production. that is because, you know, you've got more people in power positions of writing, directing, producing, distributing. Lean it's away. the business of it. If we have the distribution, we have the producers, we have the writers, we have the funding. That's why now they can't tell us that our people, we don't support each other. But are y'all waiting to see who the Black Black should have gone pick? I'm sorry. I know I went left, but. I haven't been watching it. I <laughs> I haven't watched it, well, but I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go by by judging by the facial hair. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a white woman. I don't think it's gonna be oh, black. So we're gonna move on anyway. Okay. 